the World Trade Center for the Philippine International Motor Show. This year is the 8th edition with the theme, Mobility and Humanity Innovating for the Common Good. It focuses on introducing innovations that will provide safer, more efficient, and sustainable mobility to the people. We have 13 car brands this year, and we're very excited to show you what's in it for us. My name is Sabina Cruz, and I will be your host for today's event. Let's go! With so many brands participating this year, it was one amazing showcase after another. Mitsubishi Motors revealed the return of the Rally Art lineup and their electric vehicle, the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV. Toyota Motor Philippines wowed the audience with its complete display of their GR performance lineup and their hybrid lineup. Kia, making its own headway in the innovation market, released their first dedicated electric vehicle, the EV6. Mazda also made its presence known in this year's motor show when they announced their latest hybrid line. But the star of the show was the 25th anniversary, Mazda MX-5. BMW was all about luxury this year with their electric iX, a mid-size crossover on display alongside their other premium performance-oriented vehicles. Now that we are in this era where every car manufacturer in the Philippines is going electric, Hyundai is redefining the way people look at electric cars. Here we have is the all-new Ioniq 5, an all-electric crossover utility vehicle or CUV that exudes a futuristic design. Designed to fit everything, this highly versatile EV offers plenty of room for both passengers and cargo. Dashboard combines luxurious leather wrapped steering wheels and panels featuring a fused fully digital instrument cluster and 12.25 inch full touch infotainment screen. The screens displays battery status and even nearby charging stations. USB ports to charge your devices. White leather and cushion door panels and armrests accented with silver door handles and controls. A panoramic sunroof that enhances the ambience in the interior, flooding the inside of the car with natural light. It has an aero-optimized 20-inch wheels that echo a parametric pixel design theme that goes well with the sleek profile of the car. Overall body design and silver metallic color tones denote a very futuristic theme. The front bumper has an eye-catching V-shape which highlights the kinetic cube LED headlamps. There's also an innovative LED lighting design that can be found at the back as well. The door handles is veering away from the traditional design, making it look more futuristic. The charging port has a digital pixel, square-themed battery level display. Aerodynamic components like adaptive air flaps and rear spoiler minimize drag and maximize performance. quite around for some time here in the Philippines and this is their first time at FIF. Today we have here three variants of the Tigo 8 Pro Series. Let's take a look. Now let's look at the unveiling of Cherry's highlighted car for PIMS which is the Tigo 8 Pro 2.0T. It's another variant to its flagship SUV model line, representing a more performance-oriented twist to their mid-sized 7-seater SUV. This Cherry Tigo 8 Pro gets a 2-liter turbocharged power plant that delivers 254 fed the start at 550 RPM. It has 360 degrees cameras all around the vehicle that are well hidden or integrated into the body of the car. It is loaded with premium features and amenities inside. Stitched and perforated leather seat exuding luxury and refinement. Soft padding over various touch points. A blend of silver or metallic accents and faux wood panels gives you a marriage of technological edge 
and traditional luxury. As expected, there is an all-digital instrument cluster and a sizable infotainment screen. LED headlamps and beautiful diamond pattern front grille. Futuristic tail lamps that contrast the cool light that the headlamps emit. Sleek and clean-looking 18-inch rims. Panoramic sunroof and an 8-speaker Sony sound system that will boost your driving experience to a whole new level. Moving over to Nissan, they unveiled their latest 7-seater family vehicle, the Nissan Livina. Suzuki caught much attention with several vehicles on display, but the crowd favorites were the Suzuki Ortiga and Suzuki Jimny. Photon has always been known for their service trucks, but on the center stage were the Photon Thunder pickup truck and their travel-oriented vans, the Photon Transvan, and the Photon Traveler. Honda's top-selling vehicles were still the crowd drawer with the latest Honda Civic and Honda City alongside other of their vehicles on display. Isuzu presented their most economical vehicle with the 2022 model D-MAX pickup, claiming that it can run over 1,000 kilometers on a single fuel tank of fuel, which is simply amazing. Geely excited the audience with the Okavango and the m -Grand vehicle at PIMS. But what makes this brand unique apart from the rest is that these vehicles can be purchased with aftermarket parts already installed such as wheels and body kits. Wow! The variety of the cars shown in this expo is truly mind-blowing. I am really glad that the Philippines is finally keeping up with sustainable mobility. That concludes the 8th Philippine International Motor Show. We hope you enjoyed this tour. To know more about the latest automotive and car updates, head on to Fieldstar's Wheels.ph. My name is Sabina Cruz. Thank you for watching.